This is cool. It's like I'm sitting right in the water. Pretty awesome. Hello and welcome to another Flights with Joel. This is Joel. And today I'm in Nunwalak, Alaska. And I'm going to be testing or flying, not testing, flying the Bell 47 again. Just having a quick look at this little town. This is one of the handcrafted airports by Asobo, which I think are pretty pretty neat. I love these things. And here is the Bell 47 once again. This is version 1.2. They have supposedly fixed some things and made it better. I'm going to find out. So just pop inside. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flow flow checklist flowing up and down the panel to help me uh, here. Now I got my track IR on. This makes it a lot easier for me. So the first thing I notice is this gauge here is already at 30. That I don't know what that's about. So I'm going to turn mixture on. Um, all the instruments are set. Turn battery on. Instruments came on. That's good. Got half a tank of fuel. Flowing down. And I want to turn in. I'm setting that to um, oil temperature for start. Flowing back up. Um, all these gauges are correct. We're going to prime it for four or five seconds. I don't know if that makes a difference. It, it seems to always start unless I don't turn the ignition on, which I've done. Now, if you do not have um, flight controls with an extra throttle, you can turn the governor off and use control F2 and control F3 to bring the throttle up and down. But see, up and down, that's control F2, control F3. But it's easier just to keep the easier and faster. I'm just going to keep the governor on for now and start it this way. Okay, I have a good start. The rotors are coming up. The engine's coming up. And what about that manifold pressure? That still seems messed up. There it goes. Nope. Looking at the wrong gate. There it goes. That's really weird. I don't know what's up with that. It did not do that before. It would start at zero. Alternator on. Flowing down the instruments again. Uh, oil temperature's good. Turn on the rest of the lights. Landing light on. And I believe that's the strobe. Yes. Okay. Everything seems to be in the green. We're on both. Let's see if the comm is going to work. So, 122.9. This was a problem they said was fixed. Now, I don't, I'm not on VATSIM, so I don't know. I'm just going to open the uh, ATC window. I have it set up right now. And there it is. I'm on. I'm on. That wouldn't. That didn't work before. Um, now set uh, one two zero zero because I am in America this time. Um, sorry, I've already insulted the English and the Scots in previous videos. Welcome to go back and see those. Flights with Joel. It's a playlist, but if you search for it, you'll find it. So we're on uh, flight, alt altitude, and clearing the area. I should be ready to go. I always put in a little left rudder to start and move the stick back a smidge. Because I know what's going to happen when I lift off. So not the smoothest, 
but I can fly it. I'm just letting it back up a little because the runway is around to my right. Now, as much as I love these sceneries, the, the real airport at Nanwalik is covered with boats. There's little boats everywhere. It's KEB, Kilo Echo Bravo in Alaska. It's using the runway to take off. In case there's a problem, I'll have some place to set down. I'm gonna fly over, just to do a short flight, and then I'm going to try some pattern work and auto rotation, so stick around. See if I can do an auto rotation without any good joystick. I'm using a Cy a uh, Cytic Cyborg Evo. It's at least 10 years old. I've used it in, since uh, FSX. Used it in Prepare 3D, um, X Plane, Aerofly FS2. It's worked fantastic, and I have a pair of SciTech pedals, which is Thrustmaster, little the black pedals. The spring is way too sharp. Just getting a shot, some shots of the scenery here. So yeah, the spring in my pedals is way too strong, but uh, so much better than not having pedals. I've been reading too many forum comments about people who have good, really nice, expensive flight um, sticks and have a lot of problems with them. So I'm nervous about buying a new one just because this works. I don't really have any leg. It's minor. It's not any more than any other sim. And uh, checking out the detail here. I think they improved this, but I have to go back and look. I mean, I sure that's not usually what I'm looking at when I'm flying, so I don't know. It's such a beautiful area. There's a little airport almost just off to my right there that I'm going to land at. Well, that's Port Graham, PGM. Papa Golf Motel. I might be a little fast at this point. I'm trying to go for the, um, the kind of the middle of the, well, about a third way down where the, where the, um, where there's a bit of a ramp or a fuel box or something. I'm trying to hit that spot. Yeah, my speed's better. This gets real interesting as you get slower. Oh yeah, it is a fuel box. Okay. I think there's air there. If I need some air in these uh, skits. And the town is using the airport like a freeway. There we go. Nice soft landing. Let's look at that again.
All right, now just going through everything again. Um, the way I would do an auto rotation is I would shut this off I'm using my left hand to see if I can shut it off with my left hand and then turn the no. Because what I want to do is shut this off and use Control F2 to turn it down. Still working on this. See how this works. So I'm going to do a normal pattern and then do an auto rotation. Just get myself back in the air. Move it along here. Okay, auto rotation now then. Um, auto rotation I did not expect. Will I survive? Oh, oh man, the logbook thing. Um, I can see why that might happen now because I landed maybe a little hard. Not that hard, but look, I survived it. Everything's fine, nothing's bent. I think I could restart it. Um, man, the way that they simulate engine failure is just by cutting the mixture. That's something I didn't notice before. I think I've only had it fail once before and it just crashed and went away. I had to go back and restart. Let's see that again. Oh, so there was a tail strike, but I was close to the ground. See? It's fine. It's fine. It didn't crash. Perfectly fine. Oh, and then, uh, ah! I have no idea what that's about. But there was my auto rotation, unplanned. I think I would have survived it. I don't know. Rotorick, you tell me. Uh, you're the one that flies these things. <laughs> Maybe that would have been bad. There's the... Uh, lens flare. Got to have a lens flare in all your videos. Thanks for watching. This has been another Flights with Joel. Like, subscribe, and YouTube will let you know every time I put up a video. It's not that often. Once a week at most. Love this scenery. Thanks for watching. It's been my pleasure to crash for you once again.